Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can change the boring blue color that's used in Magic OS 7 and 8, in addition to setting different custom icon sets. We can use One UI's icons, for example. I'll also show you some great tips on how to theme important apps, and I'll finally explain how you can create your own themes. You can find my own themes in the description below, but I recommend watching the video to the end for some useful tips. So let's get started. First thing I want to show you is that no matter what theme you apply from the Honor Theme Store, you'll notice that the blue color in the control center doesn't change. This looks ugly and doesn't make sense when I apply a yellow theme, for example. The reason this is happening is because Magic OS 7 and 8 don't support extensive theming currently. There's some apps like Pfile that you can use to create themes for Magic OS 7, but all of them have been abandoned and currently produce buggy themes for newer Magic OS versions. The second issue I wanted to solve was the iOS clone or ugly icons that you get with many official and non-official themes that you have with Magic OS. I really like One UI's icons because they're polished and I'm very used to them. So I added those to my themes, but you can use the icon set from any theme with other themes. You just need to open the themes app, then go to the me tab at the bottom, right then click on customize. Now to show you the themes I created and explain a bit about them. To get these themes, you just need to download the .hnt files from the link in the description and then move them to the slash honor slash themes folder on your Magic OS device. Then open the themes app and go to the me tab. You should find the downloaded themes there, but kill and then start the themes app if you don't see them. As you can see, we have a bunch of colors here. Gold, green, red, pink, and three shades of blue. Red is my favorite, so I'll go ahead and apply this one. As you can see, the theme uses One UI6's icons, and it also shows red toggles in the control panel. The default Honor apps won't be themed, but if you use the Google alternatives, then they will take the theme automatically from the wallpaper since they use something called Material U. Examples for apps that use it are SwiftKey, Google Calendar, Google Dialer, Google Messages, and there's much more. As you can see, Google Dialer and Calendar were themed red automatically when the red Honor theme was applied. You can further control this material theming by downloading Color Blender from the link in the description. You'll need to download Shizuku from the Play Store and enable it. I'll show the steps here quickly, but you can search for guides on YouTube if it doesn't work for you. After enabling Shizuku, you will see a lot of options in the app for different ways that Material U colors will be applied. The cool thing about this app is that it also uses Material U, so that means that you will see how other apps will look like as you're changing the colors. I think Rainbow looks the best, so I'm going to stick with this one. You can also see that this theme applies to your keyboard automatically if you have a Material U based theme applied. You can also modify the fonts and color of the lock screen. I recommend setting white here instead of the default dimmed color. You can also set a different font and you can dim the wallpaper that's displayed on the home screen. One last note is that I recommend using light system color scheme for the pink theme as it doesn't look good with the dark scheme. Now I'll tell you how you can easily create your own theme with a different color scheme. All you need to do is download an app called MT Manager. It's not available on the Play Store, but you can find the APK online. Then you can open the .hnt files using this app and modify them as I'm showing. You can replace the icons, color, wallpapers, and more. Ask in the comments if you face any issues, and I'll try to help. I tried to do more extensive theming, but it's buggy, so I recommend sticking to just changing the accent color for now. If you're experienced in theming and want to share notes, then please feel free to comment. Make sure to save the changes done to the files that you edited when prompted. Then you can apply the theme and see how the colors changed. You can find all of the icon files here, and you can also create animated AODs by editing these HNT files, but it's a bit more involved. Those are the main tips I had for theming Magic OS. I really enjoy using it, but having more options when it comes to personalization would be great. If you have any more useful info, then please let me know.